and our beloved Watertown branch line yet sleeps beneath the trees. And so we shall continue trying to rouse it from its slumber. Yeah, it's relatively decent going. Kind of wetland, lakeside, bottomland, tree species beginning to show up. With a little bit of upland full of pine over here. <laughs> Parts of this actually would be awesome for the Fat Tire mountain bike crowd. They'd love this thing. The sure, it's completely miserable, but that's the point of the exercise. Oh, and here we have another cool little bridge. This might be here on Ave. I used to run, roam through this area as a nine-year-old because my father managed some properties on here on half. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is where the Watertown branch begins to curve away from the pond and actually begins its route towards the arsenal. And my eventual encounter with the Mount Auburn Cemetery. Ah, more of the colorful multi-paint graffiti. And this bridge is a much easier traverse than the last besodden thing. You got little vernacular paths getting you up to the street or over to the lake pond. Oh boy, this is some pretty flamboyant graffiti. And it looks like some old infrastructure for carrying pipeline, maybe water. And now it's getting a bit more residential. Well, there's even graffiti on the old rusty rails. <laughs> Not very good delivery, but it'll work. So we came from there, and this eventually takes you all the way over by uh, Ringe Ave, Sherman Street, an old junction. And this is the continuation of my Quixotic attempt to follow the Watertown branch line, at least to the point where it meets the Watertown city line, because that's where we'll find Mount Auburn Cemetery. And this looks like it's totally tricked out for fat tire, breakneck, we don't care mountain biking. Good Lord, it's very hemmed in with invasive Japanese knotweed. It's a perfectly degraded urban environment, essentially, in all its glory. That doesn't seem to deter the warblers. Peter's right there everywhere. <laughs> the 
Robin. And we've got sprinkles on what was supposedly to be a sunny day. And this is how we get to Watertown. This is the way we came. It's opening up. There's quite a lengthy section that looks amenable to Thought Higher World. You're kind of in a bunch of little cheek by jowl backyards, but no matter. And it's opening up even more. And after it being open for a bit, we're coming up to a section that might be a bit more dense, although I don't see the sort of impenetrability that we encountered back over by Ale. Ah, I think we might be near Mount Auburn Cemetery at last. This is the backside of the former Star Market, which was a sort of okay market. Then it got completely reamed in one of those horrible merger and acquisitions by the utterly imbecilic and grotesque Shaw's with its Orwellian doublespeak of good food costs less when it actually costs more unless you participate in their asinine little club scheme. Like you gotta join the Kiwanis Club in order to buy some hamburger. God, they're awful. <laughs> cool, at least I recognize where I am. And here we are. The bridge under good old Mount Auburn Street. And the boundary with Watertown that I've been yapping about. Yeah, it's pretty open here. Again, probably be awesome for fat tiring. Oh look, someone's abandoned motorcycle helmet. Jeez. <laughs> this has the messy and strewn look of wino habitat or some such thing. <laughs> Yeesh. Some fairly creative graffiti. An utterly vile old couch. And a substantial little cluster of shopping carts that appear to have been dragooned to become seats. Wow, <laughs> it's sort of cool down here. I wonder if it would entice cave swallows or other such things. Most likely not. Okay, so naturally our next question is, how do we exit this little horror? Doesn't seem to be very good there. Probably something readily useful over here. And here we are. We should momentarily be arriving at a spot where an exit is doable. We're already over into the edge of Watertown. And despite the abundance of fences. I'm confident there's a way out.
and ask and ye shall receive. Here we have a little grade crossing, just about where you'd want one. That takes us back towards Mount Auburn Street and ultimately Sherman Street off of Ringe in Cambridge. And this is where we finally take our leave of this thing and explore the Mount Auburn Cemetery. This, by the way, isn't that far away from where all the gunfire happened after the marathon bombers get cornered in a weird little part of Watertown. This is that weird little part. And so this I'll explore at some future time. This is its continuance off towards the Watertown Arsenal. And this section all looks very valuable as there's very little bicycle infrastructure in this neck of the woods. So that's where it goes to Sherman Street. And this is Mount Auburn Street up here. So when you exit, you just walk up this little hill thing and boom, you're at Mount Auburn Street where I'll be heading momentarily. And here we are looking down at the spot where I was just recently looking up. The view from the top of the Mount Auburn Bridge and this is the intersection of Mount Auburn and Belmont Street with Mount Auburn going to Watertown Center. Belmont going to Belmont, of course. Some little yuppie something over here. More graffiti. I suppose I could have come up this thing and... Oh, look, it's even open. Yeah, the heck with it. And now we're at the edge of the Mount Auburn Cemetery.